All right, so we're doing function operations in composition. I'm going to give you these two functions, and I'm just going to do a bunch of things with them. And if I say g minus f of negative 2, that means, using proper notation, that means g of negative 2 minus f of negative 2. Do you all agree with that? Yes. Now, when you evaluate each of these, you should come up with two numbers. I'm just going to make it easy for you. We're going to put those numbers in parentheses like this. Okay. Now, to figure out what is g of negative 2 and what's f of negative 2, you may need to go off to the side, or you may be able to look at it and figure it out. For example, g of negative 2, a little thought bubble over here. So g of negative 2 means 10 minus 4 times negative 2, which, of course, is 10 plus 8, which equals 18. Do you all get that? So I'm just going to put the 18 in here. And then f of negative 2. Let's see. If I plug in f of, if I plug in negative 2 into f, all we're going to do is the math here. Do you all agree with that? You got to pay attention to your signs. Make sure that you do multiply correctly. What's 3 times negative 2 squared? 12. This gives you 4 times 3 is 12. Negative 7 times negative 2 is positive 14 and then plus 2. And all of that gives you what? Gives you 28. So plug in the 28 right here. And I get an answer that you guys did not tell me. You're telling me the answer was 10, but I disagree with that. You said, said negative 10. Absolutely. I don't think Three I heard times. that. I didn't hear the negative. I just so heard you're 10. focused on the positive this morning. That's good to know. That is, that yeah, I'm focused on the positive. Uh, yeah, I'm going to disagree with you. So notice what we did here. With this guy, first we write that. And then I just evaluate each of these. You can do g of negative 2. You can do f of negative 2. And then what you have left to do is to subtract them. The order here is very important. You don't just find each of these guys and then just subtract however you want to. You do G, and then you subtract F off of that. Do you all agree with that one? You Kay. did it right. Well done. I, I, yes. Thank you for the encouraging words that I did it right. I was starting to doubt myself because, after all, I'm just a math teacher, and evidently I don't know anything. Keep in mind what we have for f and g so that we can do this. If I write this, f, g of 5, what does that mean? That means I need to figure out f of 5 multiplied times g of 5. Now, going back to how we have defined our functions, I should figure out what f of 5 is. So maybe here off on the side, we figure that out. So f of 5, if you go back and look at your function, it was 3x squared. So it's going to be 3 times 5 squared minus 7 times 5 plus 2. Do you all agree with that? The only thing I'm doing from here is just an exercise in arithmetic. That means you just do the order of operations and you're going to be okay. What's 3 times 5 squared? Uh, 75. You square the 5, you get 25 times 3 is 75. Minus 35 plus 2 equals what? 42. It equals 42. So I know that up here, I get 42 for f of 5. Yes? And then we figure out what g of 5 is. If you remember the g of 5 said 10 minus 4x, that means 10 minus 4 times x, which is now 5. So what do you guys get here? Negative. See, I heard the negative that time. Sorry, Dad. Sorry is no excuse, son. <laughs> 42 times negative 10 is what? 
negative 420.